All right, Bismillah, uh, which is an Arabic means in the name of God, the beneficent, the merciful. Uh, I think the where I would start this story is uh, I'm a I'm a fairly new photographer. Uh, my wife hates me saying that, um, but I, I am. I've been shooting about two and a half years. Started in uh, February 2018 at the Black Joy Parade here in Oakland. Um, basically, just going out as an individual with a, a small DSL, DSLR camera, uh, which was a uh, Canon T6i. And how that all came about is that my family, uh, we were a part of a documentary on PBS called The Talk race in America where people of color are having conversations with their uh, with their kids about how to interact with law enforcement. So we got our our camera to prepare for this national documentary that was on not just my family but um, five other families including Tamir Rice's family and a whole bunch of variety of folks. Um, so 2017 comes, um, documentary comes out, we're preparing for it as a family because the racial tensions in the country in, in 2017 was still high because Donald Trump had just become president. <laughs> and so um, we're, we're, you know, he's, um, you know, he's basically about to get uh, sworn in. And so we, we get to that point, documentary comes out and um, it got suppressed. The, doc the documentary got suppressed. It came out a couple of times and then it mysteriously went off the air uh, in 2017. Um, jump forward to 2018, the Black Joy Parade comes about to Oakland. Um, me feeling just, just to, I guess, the climate at the time. I just want to go out and document history. So I took that camera, um, just went and asked folks for photos. And once I got back from that day, showed my, my personal uh, friends and, and uh, family, people, you know, say, hey, you, you have something. And enough people, those, you know, enough people said that for me to pursue it um, more seriously. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this, this button real quick. Let me get my, my song. So when I was in Africa um, last March, um, this is the first time I went to um, to Africa. I went to, me and my family went to Johannesburg, South Africa, um, and had an amazing time. And from that, <clears throat> really, that trip kind of helped inspire a lot of other stuff. It was really, when I went to that trip, it kind of just brought everything into full bloom. So uh, let me get this started real quick. Give me a couple seconds. Uh, let's go. All right, so um, we're gonna go back <clears throat> a little bit. So these are just, um, I'm gonna talk about different photos that you see on your screen. Um, this is taken at Lake Merritt. Um, they had a lake fest about two years ago. So the picture that you're going to see in this collection is going to be a culmination of things from 2000. Let me go back. There we go. Uh, from 2018 to now. Um, and so you're going to see different, um, you know, images. But my main thing is just trying to make sure that we are beautiful. Um, and so just being in these spaces to just to see us. Um, capturing moments. I thought this image was pretty interesting on how um, this young girl, go back, this young girl uh, was taking a photo at the same lake fest. <laughs> so um, they were like, all right, you know, take a picture with the cops. And I think the picture speaks for itself. Let's see if I go here. Once again, just um, capturing blackness in, in a way that just try to dignify people that's been subjugated to a tremendous amount of hate and, and um, discrimination for 400 years. Um, and so for me, it is something that I want to make sure that, <clears throat> that I want to communicate. Um, this young brother right here, I thought the same day, his eyes were just, just striking to me. Go back to this one. Um, his eyes really stood out to me. Where, I mean, it was piercing, you know. Um, I was like, you know what, I gotta ask his brother for this photo. And luckily he obliged. Um, I never really even seen someone with eyes that was just that magnificent. And this is just no uh, post, this is just straight from the camera, kind of what it was. Um, next one, my wife, uh, this is my wife, Nancy Abdul Shakur, who's on this call. Uh, whoop, whoop. Uh, we did this at Treasure Island and we're Muslim. So they have this, this all this flag and I was like, you know what? Um, it was something that I wanted to take a photo of. And uh, a brother of mine named Rewan Alhami has a very, uh, has another similar, um, it's a big poster of a Muslim woman that's in pretty much every school in America. And I wanted to do my take on that. So I told my wife, hey, stand right here, <laughs> take this photo. Um, this is the Art and Soul, Oakland, um, capturing the, the blackness and the essence of beauty and just street dancers and performers and being able just to, to be there in that moment. Um, it just means a lot, you know. Um, you know, manhood, fatherhood, 
Um, these things that, you know, for me and my community, these things that have to be elevated. Um, as a Sunni Muslim, I thought it was important to also capture the Nation of Islam, which um, they, theoretically we, we, we think differently, but it was just important. Um, so right here, uh, this is uh, Fancy Don. This is my sister. She's, uh, you know, repping beautifully. Um, that yellow and blue, whether it's the, you know, the, the Haitian colors, because she's from Haiti, um, or just the Warriors colors, because we in Oakland. Um, <laughs> I just thought, well, so I, I, just, so I thought this was just a gorgeous kind of photo and use kind of the lines to, to kind of frame it for me. Um, I just thought that was important just to have it in there. Um, this was taken at City Hall. Uh, this is at a, a vigil uh, for Neil Wilson last year, I think last year, or no, two years ago. Um, where the community came out and his brother had, they were painting tears on their faces. And I was like, you know, I gotta get this, this photo. And I thought it was really, really interesting. Um, just that, you know, for, for black men in particular to be vulnerable and to be, um, and to be soft. Uh, I thought that was, uh, or to be empathetic. I thought that was very interesting. So I wanted to, you know, take that photo. All right, um, this is from a Berkeley protest. Um, so as a photographer, you know, if you're a photographer, you're, you're a shooter. Um, and so for me, I don't just capture black people well, I'll capture anybody well. Um, that's what a photographer does. Uh, I thought this um, this person was just dope, you know, got the got the got the uh, the joint. <laughs> I was like, I was I was sitting there, I was like, that'd be a dope shot. And I have my 70 to 200. Um, so I'm like, you know, just ready to, you know, rolling rolling with it. And I just uh, got this image. This is one of this is one of my uh, you know favorite images because it shows someone that non-gender conforming. Um, I don't know how they identify, but I thought it for me would be a, a dope image to capture. Um, you know, shout out to the LGBT community. Uh, Jet, uh, his name is Jet. I took this image at um, Jack London Square. There was a, a traveling um, fest called Audacity Fest, which promoted um, black folks to travel. Um, I think it was last year or the year before. And so, I mean, I mean, his skin was just, was just gorgeous. Um, it kind of present, most pictures I take, they kind of present themselves. Um, and so I just asked and um, he obliged. And he, he's not even, a, this guy, he's not even a, a prototype person, which a lot of people I take, um, they're absolute strangers. So I was able to, to kind of capture this, um, this image. Uh, we used a, a modifier, a um, little you know, um, diffuser for this to kind of make sure, because it was midday. So um, use that. My, I think, my, yeah, my wife helped me get this one actually same thing <clears throat> you know anything that goes into blackness and to uh, crystals and to healing um, i've always been kind of privy to um so once again i like to do angles um just so i can be out of the frame <laughs> so i won't be in the reflection much so a lot of my photos do have uh, my subject at angles um but for me it's always about the image and the, and the emotion that is behind the photo um go over here oh uh this is my my friend Aliyah sharif she's a dope <clears throat> talented uh muslima mc here in oakland uh, we was at the 50th uh, black panther anniversary uh and saw her you can see the the um, little uh diffuser that i use in her glasses um but i was like hey <laughs> you know stand right here and let me get this get this uh image uh one of these images was actually the, uh, reposted by mtv um, when they went to go highlight Leah, because once again, she does music. So I just thought it was just a dope image. Um, yeah, I, super cute, right? Um, took this picture at Afro Comic Con uh, in Emeryville. Um, they had, you know, black uh, superheroes. And I thought, you know, it was it was an indoor event. And I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna really get a whole lot in, in this environment. And they had this kind of one kind of green screen kind of area. And I saw this, this young lady just kind of there. And I asked the parents, because uh, I don't shoot a lot of kids. As a youth worker, I know that's, you know, you have, um, there's some rules of engagement when you go into ask parents and, and for permission. So, um, but this time I did. And so I thought it was super cute with her, uh, her black outfit, her Black Panther outfit. So that's that picture. Everything for me is energy. Um, I read energy. I try to read it pretty well. Um, that's kind of who I ask. I go by nonverbal communication as I'm in, in spaces, and if I get that that little nod, I know it's uh, mm -hmm. it might be a good uh, chance. You know, every blue moon, you you know, uh, you get rejected, um, and it happens. And that for me is not fun. It's not cool. Uh, just but it happens. And I think as a photographer, even to this day, still trying to push past that that um, anxiety um, because when you take photography or when you take photos. I, thought, um, I told other people this, but it's, it's for me, it's an energy exchange, it's a power exchange. 
um, you're transferring energy. Um, and so if they, if the vibes are not right, I do not take the photo at all. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So, so that is, uh, my son, uh, that is my son, uh, Zaire. Um, this is, you know, school, school picture day. I wanted to take a picture of my son. Uh, the reason I added this photo into the set is because he's the inspiration uh, behind uh, how I really kind of started. Um, my wife was pregnant, uh, you know, nine years ago and just going and, and being a father and documenting my family. Uh, that's kind of where I got a lot of practice. Um, so, and then, you know, my son, you know, mashallah, he's a, uh, he's a handsome kid. So he made my job uh, very easy. Um, and so being able to, to capture this image, but that is, is I, he much, he's much bigger now, but uh, that's, that's him a couple years ago. Here is, um, I titled this picture, Angels. Uh, I took it at the Oscar Grant um, visual, I think, last year. Um, and basically, they're praise dancers just in the, in the moment um, doing their praise dancing on their Oscar Grant over at Fruitvale Bar, Bar Station. And so I just thought that, you know, just being in these spaces, capturing blackness, and I think spirituality is definitely something that should be celebrated and um and focus on so uh, shout out to liquid love for that same same day uh nation women from the nation of islam one of my biggest uh influences is gordon parks uh i strive to be like gordon parks i you know um that's kind of the my goal uh, as a photographer is to get to that standard um just for the variety that he's captured so i thought that um you know i have my chance to, to capture some women of the nation of islam um and I have a great relationship with folks in the nation. Um, and it just, it's something that's been developing over years, but I definitely was thinking about that famous word park shot when I took this one, uh, for sure. Fantastic. Lots uh, of Gordon Parks fans uh, in the room today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is Aaliyah Sharif, the young lady uh, that we were talking about earlier with the flower crown, seeing her at another event. Uh, she's in the, in the center. And um, I, this picture is important to me because within the, the Islamic community, um, historically, there's always been a, a kind of, not a beef, but um, there's always been a kind of tension between Orthodox Muslims and Muslims in the nation of Islam because we don't believe in the same ideology. And so um, I want to get this photo because over the years, um, they have, um, each community, they've gone back and forth. And I thought it was really, really symbolic and powerful to have uh, members of both communities in one shot. And so um, shout out to the both the Orthodox and Nation of Islam uh, community for this photo. My, my, my homegirl, <clears throat> uh, Jennifer Johns, very amazing uh, vocalist. Um, just like I said, just capturing the moment. She's hugging a photographer, I believe. Um, Uncle Bobby's in the background. You can kind of see the Oscar Grant silhouette on the shirt. Um, like I said, just one of the, the photos I, I love. I love being able to be in a, in a space and, and capture um, a moment. But this was taken at the Women's March. Um, and I thought this is by what, uh, 2019, I thought this was, I saw her sign. I was like, yo, this is, I gotta get this, this, this photo. Um, and it was, it was interesting because the Women's March, it was largely ran by white women. Um, you know, we had Linda Sarsour and to, uh, I think Tamika Mallory and different folks, but it was more of just kind of like, hey, I'm gonna make sure I see y'all <laughs> at, at the Black Lives Matter March. And uh, Lord know, you know, Lord and behold, you know, what, what will happen a year later uh, for us to be in this, in this situation now. So I um, thought that would be interesting. Um, took this at Black Joy that uh, I think was Black Joy last year. And I mean, a very handsome brother. I uh, love this fedora. Love the, the imagery. Of, for me, when I take photos, it's always the eyes. So if you, if you look at this photo, um, for me, it's always trying to capture something in the eyes. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, he does the rest. It wasn't, you know, shout out to his nice beard and, and uh, Scotch Porter. <laughs> For this shot, if I remember correctly, I was using my 51.2 um, uh, lens for this shot. Um, the day was overcast, and that's why you, you get the even lighting that you see on the photo. Um, it just works out to my favor. I know when the, uh, when the, the light is in such a way like this, you're going to get really even photos um so that was pretty much once i had that the light the light that i wanted everything else was was good and uh, like i said just trying to really get close up um even getting close up on my subjects um was a challenge because you know as once again you got to go through anxiety um to get close i mean photography is very very personal and so especially when you have a, a you know a prime lens 
you got to go up on that subject and get that image. So um, for this one, I just, uh, I think I, I believe I had the 51.2 for this one, but mm -hmm. yeah, it was even lighting that day. Same day, this is just named Joel. Um, yeah, I just, I loved her jacket, loved her whole, her whole aesthetic. Uh, we're at the, remember, we're at the Black Joy Parade, so my biggest thing in this situation was trying to get her away from the crowd. And we found the nice little brick building um, nearby, and I just wanted to get something that was, uh, that kind of, in my opinion, complemented um, what she had on. And she loves purple, so I, yeah, I had to do that. Um, Martin Luther, he's a um, talented, talented singer and, and musician in Oakland. Um, I just loved it. I mean, his the shades, the Run DMC, because you know the gazelle with the fedora. Um, I love this image um, mainly because I love the reflections in his in his glasses. You can see um, this the city in his glasses. Um, I didn't know that taking the photo. Uh, someone else pointed out, like, man, it's pretty dope. Um, but it is kind of a straight, you know, straight dead on shot. Uh, yeah, same same thing. So anytime I'm trying to get portraits, I'm really trying to isolate my subject. And uh, this brother right here, he just—I mean, the the hound suit coat, the beret, just—I mean, you know, this really for me was like it, it's just a no-brainer. It kind of acts for this photo. Um, it just made sense for me to to get his whole aesthetic, um, the loafers with the with the no socks. And yeah. The, you know the the fit and he's feeling himself and I'm like I'm, I'm feeling it you know so um, to be able to get you know get this this image and he was really cool will allow me to to, to take it um, you know I love it. Do you think that uh, you know some a, a subject like this that he he understands what you're trying to do? You know, folks take photographs for a lot of different reasons. Yep. <laughs> Most people. That's a great question. Most people. They do. Um, so a lot of people, are, to be honest, some people are skeptical because they don't know what you're going to take. So I usually try to um, show the image after I take it or um, or do something like that. But once I show them the image, then it's, it's all good. And then once I've shot them before and I've seen them again, it's, it's pretty golden. So, um, yeah. Thank you, Sue. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate everyone in here because I know with these Zooms, if you work remotely like I do, we in Zooms every day, and for everyone to hang out past the time that we've uh, set for this, to continue to, to be here, it means a lot to me as a, as a, as a new person on the block. I'm super humbled by it uh, for y'all to spend y'all evening rocking with me and seeing uh, you know, some of my work. So I really appreciate everyone's here. Uh, last thing I want to say, if I have a neon sign above my head, like my favorite, one of my new favorite shows, Mrs. and Meryl, <laughs> is uh, vote, love each other hard, and uh, stand up. Stand up. If you're an ally, if you're a, a person of color, this is the time. This is no. I, I've been telling my wife this. I tell people this all the time. I feel like we're we're in a different. We're transitioning to something new. Um, from you know, from slavery to emancipation was one era. From um, you know, um, after Civil War to you know to 1900s. From 1900s to civil, um, you know, the civil rights to civil rights. So now we're we're crossing into something different. And this November will be one of the most important elections in our life. Um, vote for your children, vote for your loved ones, vote for your partners. Um, is that serious? And to be honest, I am absolutely scared um, because it's, it's, it's people that are literally inciting violence against other Americans, and that should worry everyone. Um, this thing with the post service, that should worry everyone. Um, our democracy is being eroded in the name of white supremacy and, and, and whiteness. And, you know, we have to be able to say, you know what, we, we are, this country needs to value everyone. Everyone has something to bring to the table. Everyone is important. Everyone is 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 inspired and created from from the Most High. And this is this is just bananas. And the, the shit that I see online, it just it hurts me to see the country being like this and to see the ugliness and the and divisiveness and, and, and people. And so, yeah, amongst this craziness, I'm just trying to, to, to share a little light. That's all I'm trying to do.